Welcome to Valley Kids Weekend Programming. My name is Jacob, and I'm so glad to have you guys with us. We're going to go ahead and start with some worship. So why don't you guys get on up and get ready to worship God. For the song Straight Paths, we sing, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. song God's handiwork we sing for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared which God prepared in advance for us to do Ephesians 2 Ephesians 2 verse 10 sing it again for we are God's handiwork Created in Christ Jesus to do good works. For we are God's handiwork. Created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Which God prepared, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God prepared, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. For we are God's Handiwork created in Christ Jesus. 
Jesus to do good works, which God prepared, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, Ephesians 2, verse 10, sing it again, which God prepared. God prepared, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, Ephesians 2, verse 10. All right, it's the end. That was awesome. You guys did such a great job. Now we're going to sit and listen to a Bible story from Miss Jenna and Miss Riley, and then we'll hear one from Mr. Carter. I can't wait. Hi, friends. I'm Jenna. I am so glad you joined me today. I can't wait to tell you about our true story from the Bible. It's about someone who loves us very much. But first, we're gonna play a game. Okay, ready? I'm gonna slowly pull something out of this basket and I want you to guess what it is. I'm gonna describe it to you and see if you can guess it before I pull it out. So the first thing in here has lots of hair and he, this one happens to be brown, but it can be any color. He has tail and ears he likes to bark and fetch you know what it is great job it's a dog you're right okay let's do another one two more things in here let's see our other friend in here he happens to be brown too but he could be black he likes to sleep all winter long and he eats honey you know what he is it's a bear you're right Okay, one more time. We're going to play one more time. This friend in here, oh my goodness, he happens to be brown too, but he could be white or black. He's got long ears and a little tail. He likes to hop and eat carrots. Do you know what he is? Got it? It's a bunny rabbit, right? Well, all my things in here, they have hair. You know who else has hair? People have hair. Okay, touch your head, feel your hair. We all have hair, look around the room. Everyone in the room has hair. Some people have a lot of hair, some people have long hair, some people have little hair, and some people have no hair. But you know what? God knows how many hairs are on all of our head. Look around the room again. Do you think you can count how many hairs are on the head of the person next to you? That would take forever but God knows and you know why God knows how many hairs are on our head it's because we are so important to God isn't that awesome we're important to God when we go to the dentist we're important to God when we don't clean our toys we're important to God when we're sleeping we are important to God when we're sad we're important to God when we're mad we're important to God when we're happy and we're important to God when we're silly we are so important to God. We are important to God when we're in front of the line or the end of the line. We are always important to God because he loves us. Isn't that crazy? He loves us so much. He knows how many hairs are on our head. That's a lot of hairs. Wow. Remember last week when I said, who loves me? And you said, God loves me. We're going to do that again. You ready? Who loves me? God loves me. Great job. Who loves me? God loves me. That's right, he loves us so much that he knows how many hairs are on our head. That's so awesome. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for knowing us all so well. You made us perfect. You know how many hairs are on our heads. You love us. Help us to love others the way you love us. In your name we pray, amen. Wow, is that amazing? I could never know how many hairs are on your head. That's like way too many for me to count. But God knows. Wow. Well, I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, give me a thumbs up and say, got it. Get it? Got it? Good. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time. In Ephesians 2, verse 10, this is a song that we've sung. This is a verse that we've learned and memorized. It says, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, 
which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now, when we think about handiwork, that means we are a masterpiece. We are God's creation that he has made. You might make a masterpiece out of blocks, building something. Woo! Oh no! Maybe you'll use Play-Doh to sculpt something. Perhaps you like to color or draw or even paint. And when you paint, when you build with blocks, when you use Play-Doh, when you create a song, you do something, you build it, it's your masterpiece. And God made us, God made people to be his masterpiece. It says God created you as his handiwork. God loves you, God cares about you. He wants you to love him, he wants you to know him. He made you to do things that are special. He made you to be creative, to make things, to think of things. God made you, you are his handiwork. It says, for we are God's handiwork. You are a masterpiece and you are loved by God. The next part of that verse says, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus. If you have trusted in Jesus, if you believe in him, you are a new creation. Life isn't about living for yourself anymore. It's about living for Jesus. Life isn't about being stuck in our sin and being selfish and doing things that are wrong, but life is about showing God's love to other people. We are created in Christ Jesus. We are made new. We are made clean. And the third part of that verse says, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God made us and he loves us through Christ Jesus and wants us to do good things. He wants us to be kind. He wants us to be patient. He wants us to be loving. He wants us to serve. God made us to do good works. He made us for a purpose. You might paint something for people to look at, for people to enjoy as a decoration. You might build something to have your characters and stuffed animals run through and play through for fun. But God made us because he loves us. He wants us to know Jesus and he wants us to do good works. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Look and see what good works you can do today. All right, for the Lord's Prayer, here are our actions. When we sing the words, your kingdom come, your will be done, we want to have a nice slap there. So we go, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today, like we're tapping on a watch, our daily bread, like we're eating some food, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Enjoy singing in. That's a prayer that Jesus taught for how we can Pray and talk to God. As it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one.
us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil It's now time for our question of the week. How are you creative? I want you guys just to stop and think about that question and how you would answer it. And I want you to ask somebody else that you know that same question and see what they have to say. Thank you guys so much for joining us this weekend. Uh, it's been awesome to have you here with us. We will see you guys next time.